to understand my point of view about what happened on October 7th, 2023 in uh, Israel. Nothing I would condone. You have to realize that I don't see it from a dialectical framework because my experience and my investigations don't operate on a dialectical framework when it comes to Israel and the Muslim world. What I witnessed, the brutal truth of it, was faux call manipulating a secret council between Iran and Israel that included the Iran-Contra affair. And this pipeline I call the fundamentalist tripartite system. Within that framework, it's very rational that Israel, Nosferatu, and Sin War would conspire, which is the way it looks from the layout here in Tacoma, which is a macabre map of high-profile murder mysteries already, and organized crime from UW Dialectical. For example, they had no right to create a cultural war game targeting me, yet the state of Washington has been absolutely complicit in doing that because I'm outside the framework. I'm a supernova type. And in fact, being a little boy from the atomic um, cloud from Hiroshima, which saved my father and George Bush's life in all likelihood, I've been used in pigeonholing for a supernova macabre. You can see I did a painting. That illustrates the quandary that they impacted on me. I was born to a house of humanists. True, I'm a libertarian humanist, but I'm a humanist all the same. So, it doesn't work as a dialectical framework. Now, if you look at how I spent my captivity as a hostage of the murderers who tortured me as a child, some of them from Israel, all of them protecting the Israelis who did it. You would see that I was forbidden to go to school, that I was molested, that I was poisoned, I've lost several teeth already, by the UW Gestapo, Jay Lee's cowardly war machine who targeted me. So it's an obscene disservice to the reality of the situation to claim that I would somehow chew sin war against the supernova festival. It's absurd, obscene, unreality. But Nosferatu, who profits in Washington, D.C., by obscene, absurd, unreality, so I'm sure I will never hear the end of that sort of libel. When I finally got permission to go to school as an old guy, having learned sign language, showing signs of Parkinson's, I graduated at the top of my class. I was a straight A student and did an honors project on the refugee crisis from Syria, which I still read for information. It was well researched. Its central premise is one that comes up again and again in online talks which is that we created the refugee crisis and have an obligation to help. That's the government's function, to prevent such things and to help when they happen. Everybody should have referred to, deferred to the UN, but it's true I have an outstanding series of questions about the UN. Why did I sit staring into space for 20 years as an early precursor of the attack on the supernova? Surely nobody believes that those who whine and bitch and justify the Gaza monstrosity in the name of the supernova festival are anything other than spiteful hypocrites, sandbaggers who were behind the prior atrocity the target had made. There's some things that should not have to be said. One of them is 
that timely warning and information could have saved lots. This was utterly disputed by the momentum builders of the cowardly attacks on my character, peace of mind, in the United States of America's prima facie right to do business according to standards of law in our country. State of Washington deserves no credit and has no decency when it comes to what was done to me. They've stood for it, they've allowed for it, they've encouraged it, and they played a harp on Burma as though it was a great spine-tingling neon prophecy from the cult of intelligence, who has no business and no place in our society. Any more than the attack on the supernova rave had any place in the society of Israel. But we have all watched and learned of the hatred, maniacal, gloomy, sadism, of Israeli berserkers going crazy on Gaza. These are the types who I would allege had encouraged Gaza to attack the supernova ray, to get it going. That's my position, based on my experience of faux called UW dialectical, and the fundamentalist tripartite Iran-Contra pipeline. My father used to call me a sourball. That's where I stand about Robert Fripp and Ken Crimson. They were libelous intruders in my university culture. I tried to warn them about Nosferatu who's malpractices in Pittsburgh. And they sided with the museum's thief, Shulman, when they tortured me and drove me out of town into destitution and homelessness to the state of Washington, where I was promised protection from abuse and then brutally, brutally poisoned and denied the solace of even attending a community college. They said I would be a failure and a troublemaker. It's too much. I don't buy the dialectical framework. I see it as coders.